Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm filming my first update for my Project 10 pan for 2018. Um, I am a little bit delayed in filming this. Um, a couple of things happened in April and I just basically didn't have kind of the time or inclination to film or edit. Um, but I've also not been wearing makeup through April because of circumstances. I don't know by the time this video will go up if it'll kind of be a bit more common knowledge. I say that like it's going to be a big announcement. Um, something happened in my partner's family, it's not really my story to kind of tell without checking with him that he doesn't mind me saying it and yeah so not trying to be like super mysterious it's just it's not my place to kind of say it on the internet but yeah it's been not the best time um, but as well as delaying me with filming I have really not been wearing makeup at all in April so although this is delayed going up it's probably still in terms of progress this is probably exactly where I was at the kind of end of March type time so yeah like although it's delayed I don't think it'll be it's not going to be a different update than what it would have been so yeah let's just get into it. Well, the first product I'll talk about is the Marc Jacobs lip gloss so when I started using this it was pretty much brand new and full there we go can you guys see that um, it is just about half full now, it has kind of settled um, so you can kind of see where the space is there. Um, so it is sitting just above the J, seems to be, so that's quite a good measure. I am hoping maybe by my next update I'll have either finished this or be maybe down to like the end kind of thing um, and be really nearly finished it. So I'm really pleased with my progress, I'm not a huge lip gloss person so it has been quite an effort to remember to use this because it's not a product I naturally put on and um, I don't tend to top lipstick with anything like that so it has been good and um, I'm really really pleased with that I'm sure somebody who's a more dedicated lip gloss wearer could probably have finished this already but I'm really pleased with my progress with it. Part of the reason that I think I've made such good progress is because this has teamed really nicely with this, which is my lipstick that's my second item. This is the MAC Viva Glam Cindy. There were some marks on the back, they are just there, they are still very faintly there. Um, and my goal for this project pan is to finish this down to there, but keeping that angle on it. So basically finishing about this much. Is that obvious? <laughs> if I hold my finger over it. So this is where it is. The only thing is I was kind of so focused on the marks being on the back of this that I didn't really think about measuring my progress. I was kind of really focused on getting down to the marks and focused on the goal rather than kind of thinking that doesn't really measure where I've started from. So I think looking at this I have made good progress. What I did do is I have now marked in a bullet journal like the height of this lipstick so that by the next update I'll be able to more actually say I've used up you know this amount kind of thing but I am really pleased with that so yeah just continuing to use it I do think I'll probably slow down in this one this one's been a really easy one to throw on but I think as it gets into summer like everything you want things to be brighter you want like brighter colours so I think I'll probably switch this one out a little bit more and be reaching for more of my bright lipsticks and also my third item in my project pan which is my Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet and this is in the shade Peach Club. Now I can't show you any progress in this because the packaging is no use for showing progress so I'm sorry about that but I can say I really haven't been reaching this for this so I don't think there would be any kind of good progress to actually show even if the packaging wasn't opaque. Yeah this is definitely I need to concentrate on this one a little bit more. I do think it's doable that I could finish this within the year because it's a pretty old product. I've had it for a while and I worked like obsessively when I first got it so I feel like with some kind of concentration this probably should finish hopefully by the end of the year. I haven't been wearing this because it is kind of orangey so it makes my teeth look a little bit yellow but I am kind of hoping to do, I'm thinking about getting laser teeth whitening. Even if I don't I'm definitely going to order more whitening strips and do a whitening teeth course either way. Um, if you've had laser teeth whitening please let me know, there's a place near me that does it and like obviously they've got great before and afters and everything on their website but it's quite expensive and I'm like <laughs> is it like as good as that kind of thing. Hopefully once I've done that I will wear this with a little bit less self-consciousness. I will go from lips to eyes so my eye product is the Chanel uh, Illusion d'Ombre in the shade 95 Mirage. I've had a bit of a disaster with this. It has totally, totally destroyed itself. Can you guys see that? Um, so it is all in bits so I don't really know 
can't really measure the progress. There was like a little bit of pan in the middle and that's when it broke apart completely. Um, but it's just kind of continued to break up. This is in theory a cream eyeshadow. Now it's quite, when you see it, it's because it's broken up. You can see there's bits of it that are quite powdery. So I am considering repressing this, but it's not like a traditional powder shadow. They are sold as like cream eyeshadows. So I don't really know at the moment too much about repressing, cre repressing cream. I've only repressed one thing so far and it was powder product. Um, but this definitely does have like a powdery consistency. So I might repress it or what I thought I might do is take like one of these bigger bits that's here and pop it in a different tub and try and finish that. And then I know I've used like a solid amount of it kind of thing. I'm still using it, like I've got it on today. I used it as the base of my look today and I am just basically kind of swirling my brush about in all the little bits, but yeah, it's obviously quite hard to measure progress when it's like that, so I don't really know what to do. If you've got any ideas, leave me a comment. The blush that I have put in is my Illamasqua Cream Brush, Cream Blush in Rude. Um, and that is what this current looks like. So I'm really pleased with this one. It's super pigmented, so you don't need a lot of this blush. Um, but I have managed to go from having like no pan to having a little pan, as you guys can see. So I am, I'm very, very pleased with that. It's got a decent dip as well, which it had anyway, but yeah, we've got proper pan showing. So I now just kind of want to work on expanding that and hopefully by the next time I update it'll be bigger. I knew I was never going to finish this, I just wanted to finish with quite a big pan in it at the end of the year um, because a little just goes such a long way with this product um, and I absolutely love it and it just is getting really old in my collection so I did want to just get some really good use out of it before I end up potentially having to throw it away just because of age or before the texture goes or whatever like that so yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. Victory on this one. So we're heading in the right direction. Um, and another two products, um, these are my correctors. So my green one and my pink one. At the first update, they had absolutely no pan in them. They were full products. Um, and as you guys can see, there is a little bit of pan in both of them now. So, although it's maybe not that obvious. I hope you guys can see it, but it is definitely there. There's definitely pan. So I'm really, really pleased with that progress. And yeah, I'm kind of hoping by the next update, if you guys can see with this one, I'm sort of chiseling towards this edge here. So I'm hoping maybe by the next update, I'll have hit side pan in this one. Um, this one I've not been kind of chiseling towards an edge quite so much, like, you know, definitely with, because I use a brush with this one, but this one I kind of just throw my finger in usually if I'm not being super precise with it. They are definitely out of date, but they're totally fine. They're not breaking me out. Um, and I'm quite happy with them. So the fact that these have gone from being in my collection for years now and had no pan in them at the start of the year and in a couple of months I got a decent pan. Like I'm using them and I'm being active with them and I'm really enjoying that. So I'm really glad that I put these in. And yeah, so pan in both of these, which I'm very, very pleased with. Another product that I'm really happy with my progress on is the Becca Liquid Highlighter. So I did actually mark where this was, but because of the packaging, the marks have just come off no matter what pen I've put them on with. Um, but I think it was around about here kind of thing. Um, and I have used it. I would say it's now just about half full. This has gone down like, it kind of seemed to be going down quicker than that actually and then it sort of stopped so I don't really know what happened because I've still been using it so it might actually be less than half full but it looks, if you guys can see, it does look kind of about the halfway mark. So it does look about the halfway mark so I'm hoping by my next update that um, I'll either have finished this or be like, you know, right down at the bottom kind of thing. So really pleased with that progress. And the last two products are my two powders. now. I think there is a little bit of a difference in this one, not a huge difference, but I did have two other powders that I wanted to finish first, um, so I really only did kind of start using this properly in March. That is what this one looks like, and obviously I'll split the screen and show you the last one as well. So I do think I have widened the pan slightly, there was already a pan in it, um, but I do think I've widened the pan. I am thinking I might repress this, so potentially the next time you see it, it'll look completely different. Um, but I did just want to show you at least one update that was like an update on from where it had been. So I do think I've widened the pan, not hugely, but like enough that it's been widened. And I'd say I finished up two other powders first before moving on to using this. So I am quite happy um, and I do, I think now that this is the powder I'm using, that with consistent use and concentration on it, it will go. My 10th item is my Makeup Forever HD Finishing Powder. Now, I have definitely made a little bit of progress 
this is the mark from where it was and it was quite straight across the first time whereas it's a little bit kind of zigzaggy this is sort of flat as I can make it go um so it's it's kind of on a bit of a slant but it has gone down a little bit definitely not that much though I just don't reach for this very often I kind of thought by putting it in the project I would like concentrate on it and use it that's not really happened but I'm definitely I'm just gonna try and make more of an effort that's all I can do and you know hopefully just be a bit more conscious about reaching for it it is partly because there's no point in using this if I'm not filming I've not been filming through April at all and like if I'm filming once a week that's not that much to use of this and to be honest like I haven't even been kind of re like using it when I've been filming and um, like I don't have it on today so yeah bit of a fail in this one this is a product I'm like least like impressed with myself over um but like I've used it a couple of times that I wouldn't have used it if I hadn't been in this project and obviously I filmed this update and it's sort of reinvigorated in my head that I need to be using this so hopefully by the next time you guys see it there'll be like you know a proper kind of move down in the marks. I have used it just not as much as I thought but yeah I'll try and concentrate on it a little bit more so that by the next time there should be hopefully something a bit more exciting to see. But those are my 10 items that is my progress so yeah other than makeup forever powder I'm quite happy I think they've all been kind of chiseling away quite happily other than the bourgeois thing but I think as I said once I get my teeth whitened and I think I'll probably drop the MAC one back a little bit so there won't be that much progress in that next time but that will probably hopefully mean that I pick up on that one so maybe that was kind of a rookie mistake to put two lip products in and I'm obviously only going to concentrate on one of them at a time. That is my progress I'm quite happy this is my first ever project pan as you guys know if you've watched my in intro video so yeah I think it's going good so far if I was I think I will do this again next year obviously you guys know as well if you're following my kind of makeup rehab series that I am doing like a year-long spending ban and I'm achieving the reverse rouge challenge which I've actually I've already done a thousand dollars so I'm just going to keep measuring it every month and try and just use as much product as possible by the end of the month but or by the end of the year sorry but I'm definitely going to take reverse rouge forward I'm going to do it again next year but I think I'll also do a project pan next year because like it's just I've used up so much stuff monetary value wise I think I'm at about the $1,500 mark at the moment and it just doesn't really look like anything's gone from my collection it still looks huge I've still got videos to film of products that I bought last year that I just haven't added in because I haven't filmed them yet so yeah there's like a lot of progress still to be made and I think I will do I will, I will be taking this mindset forward and I'm hoping it'll stay with me way longer than just next year so I will do another project pan next year but so far I don't know I don't know if I would do something like the makeup forever powder because I wasn't reaching for it and putting it in this project hasn't necessarily made me reach for it but you know you have to kind of do that to learn it and then as I say maybe two lip products was a bit naive I don't know but yeah I'm quite pleased with where we are at the moment and yeah I'm excited for going forward and the next update so thank you so much for watching this one I hope you've enjoyed it and I will speak to you in my next video bye